you get nervous, I do too. Hi, am I on? Hi, welcome to another night of Linden Tree Coffee House. We're happy to have Jeff Bartley back in our seats in here. Um, he's blues, he's folk, he's jazz influenced. He does a wonderful guitar player, a singer, songwriter, harmonizer, and just an all around nice guy. Um, Lots of people called him a brilliant songwriter, world-class guitarist, um, a spiritual godfather of the Boston folk scene, and a local legend, and definitely a character. And I'm happy to have him in the house. Um, we're sorry we had a little bit of a delay, but we wanted to make sure that you could hear us. So Jeff is going to just take over and enjoy the night. Take it away, Jeff Bartley. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, it, it, the show was supposed to start at 7.30, right? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's only just a little bit after 7.30. If we were in a theater, we'd just be going now. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, this is, has a, the you know, fluvia of professionalism about it. If we started right on time, you'd think we were amateurs. <laughs> 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 Every morning when I come in I can hear my black dog bark Every morning when I come in Lord, I can hear my black dog bark Wanting me to someone been hanging around you know that about to break my heart I go home in the morning But my breakfast ain't never done I go home in the morning But my breakfast it ain't never done Every time I get to my house at about the time My little girl, she's out on a run I don't see why Little girl won't treat old Jeff so mean I don't see why So mean You know I'd answer for a glass of sweet milk And I swear she will give me cream <laughs> Now you know everybody appetite ain't alike in the morning morning I drink sweet milk and in the evening I don't drink none now why she don't have my breakfast done she's out on a four-day run and it's not it's not a four-day run she, she doesn't go out on a run for four days no it, it's a before day run, before day run. Now, this is a Light and Hopman song. So we're talking about South Texas, Houston, their bats up, and Lightning's girlfriend's going on this four day run. Right? They got a name for it, right? So I'm thinking, well, maybe it's not just Lightning's girlfriend, but maybe other guys' girlfriends and wives and aunts and grandmas and sisters going on. Four-day run. 
I, I, song never says like where all these female people are going or or what they do when they get there. But uh, 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 that ain't none of my business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody say to me four day run. I'm like, mm. old Jeff doesn't belong getting messed up with that. I'm like, Let's get back to the song about the dog. <laughs> Every morning when I come in, Lord, I can hear my black dog bark. Every morning when I come in, yeah, and I can hear my black dog. You know it hurt me so bad Till it be about to break my heart That woman knows she mistreat me She knows she done me wrong But that's all right one day she coming back home and I go home. Lord, let me hear my black dog boy. Yeah, you know it hurt me so bad. Till it be about to break my heart. You know I love that dog. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for coming out so much. Thank you for coming out. That's great. Um, and thank you, Liz. And Eddie and all of, all you guys with the stuff. Really, thank you so much. in my pocket one step at a time if I'm ever gonna have one I could be in my prime just before dawn the wild birds sing I strum my guitar boys just to hear it ring came home last night around noon today I took a shortcut, and that shortcut took all day. But I don't mind walking, I don't mind a little shine. On the days gone by, days when you were mine. my way, know where I'd be, down in old Mexico, out on the YP, the U Yucatan Peninsula. They had these things there, it was called by the, the you know, the asteroid that hit there on the, the northeast part of Yucatan Peninsula, the one that, you know, that's famous for killing the dinosaurs, you know, and it made these big freshwater, these big, they're called cenotes. That's that's a, that's a conversation for another time. But it's kind of <laughs> if I had my way, know where I'd be down in old Mexico, out on the YP. I'd jump in a cenote, clear my head, sleep with you at night in a big feather bed. Dimes in my pocket, one step at a time. If I'm never gonna have one. I could be in my prime just before dawn. The wild birds sing. I strum my guitar, boy, just to hear it ring. If I was a catfish, know where I'd be, in a catfish hole, of course, 
anywhere in Tennessee. I'd be playing at cagey. I'd be swimming deep, but I would let you catch me if I was a catfish. To stay ahead of the pack, you got to know when to jump, or you could spend your life, boy, falling out of that slump. Didn't we jump all the cracks, you and me, young and free, as the years went by? We thought we had it made. Thought we'd never die. If I was a little bird, know what I'd do? I'd sing that little bird song I learned from you. In the deep dark forests, in a hawk-filled sky, I would do these things. If into your heart I could fly Two dimes in my pocket One step at a time If I'm ever gonna have one I could be in my prime Just before dawn Wild birds sing I strum my guitar Just to hear it ring And it's me and my shadow Sitting on a fence Trying to make a dollar Out of 99 cents Peaches in the summertime Apples in the fall They can call me names But I have heard them all Time moves too slow And it moves too fast If past is prologue Is prologue past I will recall it all Every moment, every word to every song I will remember everything Before I'm gone We do what we can, we do what we must, we suspect it's all no more than dust to dust. You wake up one day, time has taken everything, and you're free as a bird with a bro. I'm never gonna have one I could be in my prime Just before dawn The wild birds sing And I strum my guitar, boy Just to hear it ring Just before dawn The wild birds sing And I strum my guitar, boy Just to hear it ring Thank you so much. Thank you. Hmm. You know, I haven't done a show for a long time, so I do have some cheat sheets here. And I hope you will forgive me. Have you ever had Deborah Silverstein at the Linden Tree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until she moved, she and her husband Jim moved down to North Carolina. Oh, maybe, gosh, four, five, six months ago. Anyway, for the last couple of years, we've been meeting, I don't know, a couple times a month and comparing each other's songs and, you know, doing some critiquing and stuff. And this piece is a spoken piece. And it's a, it's a 10 minute writing exercise. It's old. Vagabond Stars uh, is the name of this. Vagabond Stars are most at home on stage. Everything they need is there, 
an audience, a glass of water, a microphone, a place to tell of dreams and revelations, to praise love. The stage is a place to reinvent oneself, if only for an evening. It is a place to spin delight from the air and shower an audience with jewels. It's a place both exposed and inviolate, with order and purpose, manageable tasks, beginnings and endings. Off stage, life is much more complicated. Some vagabond stars never leave the stage with its bright lights that banish all things dark. Banishing physical darkness, as in the absence of light, are actual cosmological stars, those incomprehensibly huge globes of hydrogen ignited by their own gravity to become continuous fusion reactions on an unimaginable scale lasting billions of years. This stuff blows my mind. And then there were vagabond cosmological stars, right? Stars that aren't part of any system, stars that have been slung or bashed out of their nurseries by interactions with other bodies. They wander aimlessly through our, through our galaxy, spewing their subatomic particles indiscriminately on other stars and planets, pulling them out of their designated paths and orbits, pulled off course themselves warping ever new patches of space-time with their passing. A few escape their home galaxy entirely to wander the universe. Eventually, some of these celestial vagabonds will collapse and form black holes. And in time, some will become supermassive, sun-swallowing, planet-gobbling monsters in which new universes are forged no two alike. It appears that energy condenses into matter with the same limitless variability that we observe as flecks of water morph into snowflakes. This is to suggest that black holes manufacture subatomic particles that, that possess wildly differing properties than the ones that we know, particles that create New universes with entirely new values for everything from the speed of light to, the, to gravity to the physics of matter, if such phenomena Eva even translate. And now that Stephen Hawking has thrown off his imperfect earthly coil, perhaps he is free to wander the cosmos, play among the stars, be a vagabond traveler in interstellar space, shining light and warmth onto dark and frozen worlds, warping ever new patches of space-time with his passing. But those singular vagabonds of lesser magnitude, you and I, hardly star-like, drift from the stage to the Motel 6 and back again, over and over. I have a new record that's due the first or second week of March, so, so I'm excited about that. And there's another one in the pipeline, and uh, I'm going to play the title song of both, but this is the, this is the title song of the one that is, is coming. It's in the pipeline. This is called the, the Ballad of Billy Bridger, and to have it make sense, all those 30 years that I'm presenting acoustic music at the Cantab Lounge, right next door to the Cantab is a 7-Eleven. And there are always guys out there panhandling. So this is, um, Billy Bridger is a fictitious character. <laughs> and it's just me imagining what, what his life could have been like and what might have gone down for him. The ballad, the ballad of Billy Bridger. He 
sits outside a Krispy Kreme in Pawtucket, softly begging for cores and dimes. He's making his bed at the edge of the river, another lost son gone down in the line. Another old boy out of luck, out of time. He was tough as nails, he was always getting hammered. Billy had a face like a mile of bad road. He came from a line that was proud and untamed. Billy was aces and one of their own. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I'm sorry, right. Okay, here we go. And Billy was aces and one of their own. He came up fast, he came up hard, joined the Marines, lost part of his lung to an IED on a road into Baghdad. One more war that would never be won. So he sits outside a Popeyes in Tulsa, softly begging for quarters and dimes. Making his bed at the edge of the river Under the lost sun gone down in the line Another old boy out of luck, out of time Join the Marines straight out of high school Not a bad choice for a kid with no name But the bomb went off and the blood wouldn't stop The buddy right next to him lost both hands He can't live indoors Sorry, he can't live indoors around other people. He gets claustrophobic and screams in his sleep. The nightmares shake him like a dog shakes a rat. The torment drives him out on a street. So he sits outside a pawn shop in Reno, softly begging for quarters and dimes. He's making his bed at the edge of the river. Came the crash of 08, the VA cut his oxy He turned to the street when his options were gone Got caught in a sting, spent six months in county Wondering how, what in hell went wrong <laughs> The sh shelters turn you out early in the morning Vodka's cheap and it dulls the pain Now he's sunburned and weathered Crow's feet in leather Begging for bear change out in the rain And sometimes at night when it gets real quiet His mind hits something that he can't get around His buddies and him were shattered in their prime Defending the fortunes of rich old men it's outside a 7-Eleven in Boston, softly begging for quarters and dimes. He's making his bed at the edge of the river, another lost son gone down in the line. Another old boy out of luck, out of time. Nice uplifting, perky little number, huh? Yeah. You know, um, I think I've, I think Liz has asked me to come play for her for off and on 40 years, 40, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Well, we're only in our. I mean, you're only like 22, right? You had somebody on it before, but. I'm really appreciative. All right, this is even newer, uh, and this is called Our Little Bar, and I don't have this memorized. I don't seem to have any of these memorized, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> um, it was just a little bar. We were just in our prime. Now the lights are going down on stage one last time. There are 
nights without end And the finest friends Too many by far You'll never see again Word went around Someone made a flyer Players told players And the scene caught fire Sweetest string band music lit up that little bar Every Tuesday night They came from near and far Fiddle and banjo Tapping feet in a grin Flat top Martins and old Gibsons Big bass fiddle, little mandolin Song after song in high harmony Music never ending memory Boston city limits true life and crooked still listen to Ellaville Mountain Boys that's our band that's a fan I've been that's what that was our first name the Ellaville Mountain Boys which isn't funny unless you know that Ellaville is a pre-prozac antidepressant uh, our current name is the uh, Wabash Cannibals which of course isn't funny unless you know the Wabash Cannonball right yeah, listen to Melville Mountain Boys. Hello, Marion. Hello, Ken. Hello, Bill. <laughs> Friendship on faces, excitement in the air. Natalie Portman came one night. She sat right over there. You got to walk. My way is rough and steep. You're singing the old songs, you're singing them in your sleep. Like the wind and rain, like the moon and stars, like love, like the music, we're here and then we're gone. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to play an, another, another one here called I Got a Crow for Christmas. I think I have this one memorized. I Got a Crow for Christmas. Um, and uh, for those of you at home playing along, it's in the key of D dog. And there's only three chords, just D, G, and A. So it's pretty simple. I got a crow for Christmas, black as a crow could be. Her feathers shine like oil on water. She sometimes comes to tea. But she had no need of me Miss Crow is proving brilliant I think she soon may talk She flies in circles high above me On my morning walk For all she is a wild thing She scavenges alone With one eye cocked for the stooping red-tailed hawk Falling like a stone Miss Crow has now begun to speak To make the ladies blush She brings me bottle caps and roofing nails And other fancy stuff I got a crow for Christmas Black 
as a crow can be. Her feathers shine like oil on water. She sometimes comes for tea, but she had no need of me. She will disappear for days. I know we shot where she goes. Could be to a land beyond the sky. How magical those crows. Well, perhaps she flies through the deepest wood to roost with hundreds there, all telling crowy jokes and making loops up in the crowy air. And all day long they carry on. They put on such a show. How grand to tumble in the sky with all the world below. I got a crow for Christmas, back as a crow can be. Her feathers shine like oil and water. She sometimes comes for tea, but she had no need of me. Raleigh, Raleigh, you're great. Hi, Raleigh. I love you, man. Now, there's a guy. You've had Raleigh, I assume, a bunch of times, maybe. Well, well we, have, we haven't had him up from... from when the other. pandemic is over in 150 years, you got to hire... You got to... He, he's just... He's great. Yeah. Raleigh Brown. What are we talking about? Philadelphia, I think. Um, maybe? Philly? Maybe. Now, let's see. Pennsylvania, anyway. Somewhere in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania. yeah, right. Yeah, gosh. Oh. Now this one, I originally wrote for a, a seven-year-old boy, and then it, you know, it morphed uh, over the years to become more appropriate for adults. And this is called The Song of Imaginary Gifts. Um, I haven't sung this for a while either. The big day comes, the stars align, we join to celebrate. The only thing that's missing is a dancer and a cake. Friends will bring fine presents, old Glenn Livet from the bar. But these special gifts I've brought for you are worth much are much more fun by far. For taking giant steps, here's a special pair of shoes and your own private orchestra that never plays the blues. And here's an acrobat technique so your balance you will keep. And a, what is it? And, I'm so sorry, and a mountain bike with 90 gears or when the road gets steep. And here's a crazy little cup that always overflows and a way that's never lost no matter where it goes. To the people that you love, here's a special little link and some flamingos fresh from Africa to keep you in the pink. There's some great writing right there, I'll tell you. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> uh, here's a, and here's a special pirate map to the treasure that you are. And a magic sort of rope made for hitching to a star. And here's a special talking cat explaining landing on one's feet. And a Scrabble game that never never spells defeat for dan dancing through the world of dancing feet and I love this line and some food that you don't like that you never have to eat and here's the airiest of grace for when you're dancing cheek to cheek and a paddle if you get yourself stranded up that creek <laughs> Here's an X marked, you are here, if you suspect you're not all there. And an extra ounce of poise, if you should start to lose your hair. 
here's a big red paper ticket for your one free ride and a magic microscope for a clearer look inside and it's the end of all my toys you must keep them in your heart and promise to remember me when we're far apart remember that I love you with these blessings you receive I'm so sorry oh yes sorry and live each day to make them real and not just make believe <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It needs a string section, but you know, you can kind of like use your imagination here. Now, Liz uh, had asked me to play for an hour, just an hour set. I, um, or as long as you would like. <laughs> Well, that opens the door. Now that's, that's a risky position yeah. right there, I'm telling you. We're not going anywhere. So there's, you know, a lot of songs that didn't make the cut on the set list. Um, uh, uh, one in particular is very, you know, talking about climate chaos and the dangers we all face and stuff. Uh, that, that's called um, When the Asteroid Hits Yellowstone. That, that's a fabulous song. I, as you notice, I am interested in, in uh, cosmology and things like that, you know. So there's one, there's one called Big Old Universe. I might have to slip that in. And then there's a, a one that really has come out of it. This isn't a personal experience of mine, you understand, but this song came out of this, you know, this last two years when we've all been, you know, isolated and quarantining and everything. And the name of that song is Naps. Naps are like clowns. They can go either way. <laughs> you know how cl clowns can get, you know, kind of... Kinda... All right, okay. Uh... <laughs> See if I can remember part of this anyway. I'm afraid I'm going to forget this. Naps are like clowns. They can go either way, but sometimes, despite the danger, we take one anyway. When there's no other way you'll ever make it through your day, remember naps are like clowns, they can go either way. Mm -hmm. At first the clown seems normal, at first the nap is sublime, then the clown gets creepy and you lose track of time just as all your troubles are drifting far behind a creepy clown nightmare comes and rearranges your mind clowns get creepy and they get strange it's keep it that way the way they change you may know she's okay you may know he's insane, but with a clown you never know. And that's a shame. Know what I'm saying? Clowns can go bad. And naps are the same. Sometimes, despite the danger, we take one anyway. All your troubles will be fifth far behind. A creepy clown nightmare comes and rearranges your mind. That's about all I can remember. So I'm going to end it here. I'm so sorry. I should look at. I should just dig it out and play it for it because there's some other good lines in it that are funny. Let me see what I can what I can do here. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm going to sing this one, too. Um, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Here's the last verse of the Naps and Clown song. A 20-minute power nap can recharge your battery. But there's always a chance of bringing creepiness your way because naps are like clowns. They can go either way. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to go. Like that. All right. Now this one. This one I did not write. Uh, and it's really creepy too. <laughs> I'm betting that you will know this. Uh, very early in Bob Dylan's career, he was singing this in New York and just killing it. I wasn't there, but friends have told me he just killed this song. You know, he had a very fluid right hand with a flat pick, you know, very fluid, very quick strumming. And this, <coughs> this, song, this song will lend itself to that. But this is the song, uh, it's got to be 100 years old or more. This is the one called The State of Arkansas. <laughs> My name is Charlie Brennan, from Charlestown I come. I've traveled this wide world over, son, many a race I've run. I've traveled this wide world over, some ups and downs I saw. But I never knew what misery was, till I came to Arkansas. Dodge behind the depot to block that, <laughs> I'm sorry, to duck that blizzard wind. I met a walking skeleton named Thomas Quinn. His hair hung down in rat tails on his long and lantern jaw. He invited me to his hotel, the best in Arkansas. Followed my conductor to his respected place Where misery and starvation was seen on every face His bread it was corn dodger, his meat I could not chaw His meat I could not chaw And I love it <laughs> But he charged me a half a dollar in the state of Arkansas but I didn't like the work, I didn't like the pay, I didn't like the Swamp Angel, I didn't like the Swamp Angel's wife or none of his kids. So I went up to him and I said, Mister, I want to quit this job. He said, all right, son. He handed me a mink skin, mink skin. He says, that's what we use for currency down here in Arkansas. So I took my mink skin into a saloon to see if I could get a bottle of whiskey, right? Put my skin on the bar and turned if that bartender didn't slip me that pint. And he picked up my mink skin, sort of blowed the hair back on it a little bit, and he went in back, came out after a minute or two, gave me three possum hides and 14 rabbit skins in change. So I started back in Texas at a quarter after five. Nothing left but skin and bones, half dead, half alive. Got me a bottle of whiskey, my misery for to thaw. Got drunk as old Abraham Lincoln when I left old Arkansas. So it's farewell, Thomas Quinn, and likewise his dying wife. I know she never will forget me in the last days of her life. She put her little hand in mine and tried to bite my jaw. Said, Mr. Brennan, remember me when you leave old Arkansas. And it's fare thee well, swamp angels, to cane breaks and to chills. Farewell all sass sassafras tea in the corn dodger pills. If I ever see that land again, I give to you my paw. And I'm pretty sure he means his hand. I don't think he's going to give away his dad, right? He's going to give you to my paw, right? Okay. Hmm. I give to you my paw. It will be through a telescope from here to Arkansas. Railroad man at a dollar and a half a 
day There I lie to work, boy, till I can get away And I'll go to the Cherokee Mountains And marry me a squaw Farewell to hog and hominy In the late of Arkansas My name is Charlie Brennan From Carlton I come Traveled this wide world over many a race I've run. I've traveled this wide world over some ups and downs I saw. But I never knew what misery was till I came to Arkansas. Isn't that? <laughs> Do you hear that ever at the coffee house? I mean, once in a blue moon, maybe, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you. All right. Okay, here goes. I was going to save this until later. But you guys are being such a great audience. I'm going to have to check in this and look at this once in a while. But <coughs> uh, this was written in the last two years. And I, I send it out with love to all of you and all of you watching at home, too. Uh, and this is, this is a song. This is called. This song is called uh, "Baby Boomers." Okay, so prepare yourself here. <laughs> Baby Boomers. When everybody came home from the Second World War, all the boys and the girls they made love, not war. As a result of all of that jubilation, there's a better rhyme in there. There's a great big bulge in the population. We were going to save the world. It was the age of Aquarius. We grew asparagus. <laughs> we protested, got arrested, got our friends to marry us. We stopped the war, we saved the whale, gave peace a chance, ate more kale. <laughs> we were making it up as we went along, whistling in the dark, yeah, we'll still whistle in the dark. Yes, I confess, I'm almost as old as you. Born three years after World War II. We had no choice, now what can we do? So I'm hanging out with the Alzheimer's crowd. If you want to be heard, you got to talk loud. <laughs> I like to roam all around the home, living it up this way. I'm meeting new friends every day. My memory's so vague, I can hide my own Easter egg. And of course, on the recording, there's a nice solo here, which I won't try, you know. I was out last night, I saw you there Trying out moves on you know who You had three feet of toilet paper hanging off your shoe Don't flatter yourself, <laughs> you're not that cute She was only checking you out Cause you had ketchup on your shirt Was it AARP? Maybe People Magazine? Said usually the first thing to go is the personal hygiene. But it's too late now to do much about that. You're blessed with the post and it's blind as a bat. And if you lost your sense of humor, you could be a baby. Don't say that word, boomer. Don't say that one either. So to all of us guitar tuners, all of us howling at the mooners, 
all the grand falooners, hot air ballooners, and the magic mushroomers. <laughs> what, what will we leave when all is said and done? Too many races left unrun Was the world any better when we were done? We did the best we could What we had to the happy and sad Took the good with the bad Gave it all we had We were oh so bad But oh my Jed, look at us now we're on the home stretch, half blind, half deaf. And it's no rumor, we're all growing tumors. Remember the tale of wise Ulysses. Growing old, it's not for sissies. Yeah, I tell you, boy, getting old. I don't know about you guys, but I still feel like inside that I'm like seven or eight or something. Yeah? Well, yeah. yeah. I guess I'm not the only one. But, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade this one because I love this song. This is when the asteroid hits Yellowstone. I'm going to have to look at this a little bit, and I beg your indulgence again. And what key is this in? And oh, right, it's got all these. Check this out, Raleigh. I got into this stuff. All these 6 9 chords, you know what I mean? So when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, Yellowstone, when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, you can kiss your troubles goodbye. Uh, troubles in this song is a euphemism. <laughs> so in the asteroid is Yellowstone, Yellowstone. When the asteroid hits Yellowstone, you can kiss your troubles goodbye. Because the asteroid in question is the size of Brazil. Dude in the aluminum bandana selling condominiums in Montana. Okay, here's a quiz question for extra points. What three states, uh, in, in which three states does Yellowstone uh, National Monument live out there? Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. That's not bad. Yeah, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Been there, I think. That's not everybody knows that, you know. I, I didn't. I, you know, I didn't. Chipped off as a Grand Teton. <laughs> and you know what that means, right? Oh. Grand Teton. You know, it's yeah. French. You know. Yes, yes, I know. It's fabulous. <laughs> That's it. Hey, <laughs> think of it. You know, these guys are out and they're trapping beavers and muskrats and fighting you know, swamp angels are mosquitoes, right? And what are they going to think about? They're going to think about their girlfriends and wives, you know? Okay, so where are we here? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah right. The selling condominiums in Montana. I love that line. You see, Yellowstone sits... Where are we? Yellowstone sits on a super volcano. A super volcano. Yellowstone sits on a super volcano. And when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, well, when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, thousands of tons of smoke and ash and poison gas are going to belch into the sky, and acid rain will fall all over the world, and small things in ponds will die, and then larger ones on land and sea and so on up to you and me and you can kiss your troubles goodbye the collision will knock the earth closer to the sun even rare plants and animals will be well done <laughs> do over yeah 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 the collision will knock the earth closer to the sun everybody wave bye bye 
the earth will cook for a hundred thousand million years and everything will fry except for man and the lowly cockroach there's some nice chords in here that i have forgotten cockroach cockroach man and the lowly cockroach right the lowly little cockroach that evolves into what an eight foot tall telepathic, man-eating, venom-injecting. So when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, Yellowstone, now when the asteroid hits Yellowstone, you can kiss your troubles, you can kiss your troubles, you can kiss your troubles goodbye. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, you know, folks, it, let me know if the show is getting too slick for you, okay? Um, okay, I got to do the big universe one. You don't mind if I... You, are you guys interested in cosmology and all that? Oh, yeah. I think you should go back and do the rare, rare plants uh, line again. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just let us have it again. It's really good, isn't it? It's really... Yeah. Give it again. In most, most states, they fine you for language like that. No, uh, yeah, when uh, because the asteroid in question, oh, yeah, well, uh, the collision will knock the earth closer to the sun. Everybody, way uh, the collision will knock the earth closer to the sun. Even rare plants and animals will be well done. That's the one, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm not saying that. That's worth the price of admission. It's all, it's, it's, it's really, I know it's. It's terrible. It's really horrible. But, uh, see if you recognize this. Anybody recognize? I bet you, right? Yep. Jimi Hendrix for days, right? Yep. Big old universe, and it surely is curious. Spinning around out here in this wildly improbable flip a coin world. You see, quantum theory predicts that this particular universe of ours is only one among an infinite number of possible universes. And the cosmologists don't know how it's going to end. Some say the big freeze, but others have a hunch. It's going to turn out to be the big crunch. You know about this, right? The universe is either going to be, you know, come back in, or it's just going to completely, you know, go out. Right. Uh, observers, however, say the universe is expanding faster and faster and faster and faster. I say, how can this be? And they answer me, because of those rascals, dark matter and dark energy. Will it expand forever or start to boomerang? Is it one big cycle and another big bang? A lot of smart people working day and night say, we don't know, we just don't know. But we do know a couple of things that just aren't right. They say it's all quite elegant and meant precise and exact, but it's ever so slightly just a little bit out of whack. They say the stuff is creepy and spooky and hard to explain, but when things get really huge or things get really tiny, things get really strange. Who could dream things so bizarre as black holes White dwarfs, you and me, and quasars, <laughs> pulsars, supernova, snowvids, neutron stars, aliens in roadside bars, from where photons and protons, gluons and muons, electrons, Neutrons, 
futons and croutons. <laughs> Gravitons, hadrons, hadrons. Septet and stachyons, up, down, strange, charm, top and bottom quarks. And as if that weren't enough, all their antimatter counterparts. Aphroditic frogs, dot coms, dot orgs, the latest humanoid cyborgs. Check this box if you're a robot, unless of course you'd rather not. Right. Who could dream of things so small as the neutrino zipping through us all? The race was on for the basic article until Higgs found the boson they call the god particle do you know about that do you know about that the Higgs boson it's a subatomic particle that allows matter to have mass you know there's a joke about this too and it goes like this a Higgs boson walks into a church and the priest says I don't believe in you and the boson says, then how can you have mass? Uh, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, See? Pay, pay yeah. <laughs> You're getting a high-class show here. Incredible. Every minute, just packed Incredible. with facts. All right. Where were we here? Uh, right. Wonders wait. Here it this is the, this is the, I should have put this in front. Not only do we talk about, you know, the ever-expanding universe, and it's expanding quicker and faster and faster all the time, but uh, amino acids have been discovered on asteroids. Well, so what, Bartley? What's the big deal? The big deal is that amino acids are the building blocks of what? Nice. Yes, proteins. Proteins, yes. And proteins are the building blocks of what? Yes, living cells. DNA. Living cells. Okay. There are trillions and trillions of asteroids in the Milky Way in our galaxy, right? I Googled it. And there are apparently estimated something on the order of 40 billion planets in the Goldilocks zone in our galaxy. You know what I mean, Goldilocks zone, right? Everybody knows that. You know, where water is liquid and yada, yada. Okay. So taken together, these facts seem to suggest that the possibility of there not being extraterrestrial life out there is vanishingly small. It, this is what turns me on. I'm really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it just knocks me out, this stuff. You know what I mean? So how are we have Right, okay, where are we at? Wonders wait out in the dark as we float by like Noah's Ark. Worlds created, worlds destroyed, amino acids found on asteroids. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a nice chord here. Ah. How curious that we should see them sprinkled through our galaxy and with water brought to earth as though we might with gods converse So sorry. Uh, you see, right, right, right. You see, quantum theory predicts that this particular universe is only one among. Is that right? I'm sorry. 
an infinite number of possible universes and the cosmologists don't know how it's going to end them say the big freeze but others have a hunch it's going to turn out to be the big crunch big crunch big freeze big crunch <laughs> You guys are great. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Okay. All right. This is where my mind goes sometimes. Oh, I think you'll like this one better. Gas lights on a foggy corner. Gas lights on a foggy corner. Some lonely soul blowing the blues out of his trumpet. Dark water glides under a footbridge. Couples walking. No church bells. A carriage in the mist. I hear the clop, 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 clop of the horse's hooves long before I see the carriage. Young people dancing, laughing, whirling. Two old men who'd been playing chess, walk a short way together, then part. I sip my wine, try to be happy, but I remember too much, too many mistakes, too many regrets. Perhaps a raven's life would suit. With the sheen of moonlight on my feathers, I would peck out the eye of a fallen deer. I would hear in two miles in every direction. I would mimic the humans with my croaks. Lady crows would laugh at my jokes. I like shiny things. I had one once, but it turned into water. Now, you all have to think good thoughts for me, because I sent that to the New Yorker. So keep your, keep your fingers crossed. I mean, you know, I know it's a stretch. It's funny. They, they give ample, they give, you know, many column inches. They say, don't bug us. Don't be calling. Don't be emailing. They say it politely, right? Not in this tone of voice. But they, we get a lot of submissions. We'll get to you. That's what they say. You know what I mean? That, that, so... Do you remember from the open mic, do you remember Brad Pillen? I have to try to locate this guy because I recorded this song and it's, uh, it's his song. <coughs> I'm sure he'll make, you know, gobs of money on it. Uh, you know, streaming has really, you know, killed traveling musicians who, you know, have CDs, you know, to sell. Streaming, I, I get, uh, I have this, music reports is what, you know, gives me my... I have a, a check that's framed for music reports. Two cents. Yeah, yeah, two cents. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, Brad Pillen's song. He was a songwriter who would come on Monday nights. And I always, I always liked him. He was a quiet and kind of a guy you just had a good feeling about, you know? Brad Pillen. Um, If I could be these things If I was the setting sun Then one day when I was done I'd sit on the horizon Wait for you to come If I was the sun If I was a singing bird Then one day you heard me singing at your window and you knew every word of the singing bird if I could be these things oh, oh, oh. if I could be these things If 
I was a mountaintop A great big pile of rock I'd make a nice place for you to sit and stop If I was a mountaintop If I was a great machine I'd make you many things Then one by one you would have all you need from the great machine If I could be these things oh, oh, oh. If I could be these things oh. If I was the one you loved I'd fly to you like Noah's dove And we would be as one beneath the stars above If I was the one you love If I could be these things ooh, If I could be these things You ever hear him sing that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Brad Pillen. Hmm. I keep telling myself that I have his email and I should just look for it, you know? <laughs> A funny little story about a jumping frog contest out in California, written by Mark Twain. A trickster gets tricked and a frog gets filled with lead, so he couldn't jump and lost the contest instead. It was the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Old Jim Smiley catched him, named him Daniel Webster. He names the, song, the, the frog Daniel Webster. Okay. Yeah. Old Jim Smiley catched him, named him Daniel Webster. Trained him to jump 10 feet on the level. Trained him to jump 10 feet on command. Farther by a yard than any frog in the land. I'm talking about that celebrated jumping frog. Calaveras County. You see, old Jim was always angling for a bet. He'd bet on a dog fight, he'd bet on the weather. Yeah, old Jim loved to bet, but he didn't always bet wise. If he couldn't find a taker, why, he'd just switch sides. Talk about that celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Yeah, old Jim Smiley, he was a fool for bet. But still, he was lucky and rarely in debt. Carried Daniel Webster around in a lattice box all day, trying to find somebody, you know, bet with that way. Against the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. One day, a stranger came through, said to Jim, what's in the box? Says Jim could be a rabbit or maybe a duck, but he was just some little old frog. But I tell you what, I'll bet you 20 that he can outjump any frog in the county. He was talking about the celebrated jumping frog from you know where. Well, the stranger, the stranger took the bet and laid his money down, but he didn't have a frog, which was kind of a problem. But old Jim, he wanted that bet so dear, he said, ah, I'll get your frog, get you a good one too. You just wait right here. Just wait right here with my frog. He didn't say anything about it being celebrated. You know what I'm talking about? So old Jim goes down the swamp to catch the stranger a contender. And when he was gone, the stranger picked up Daniel Webster, 
picked him up careful, took a good long look all around, and poured him full of quail shot and set him back down. And poor old celebrated frog jumping frog, Calaveras County. Down the swamp, old Jim could have used a net. Frogs are jumping around all everywhere, but he hadn't caught one yet. And he finally gets a good one and puts him in a sack, wipes the mud off his boots, and start walking back. Chip up on his celebrated gentleman frog, Calaveras County. Old Jim gets back and he doesn't suspect a thing. He sets the fresh frog next to Daniel with their toes in line, you know, make it legal. Jim is thinking, you know, that the contest was a cinch. But Daniel gave a mighty heave and didn't move an inch. That's suddenly overweight. Celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. The fresh frog, though, was a springy one, and he launched himself like a rocket and flew through the air, like, spinning slowly around. Poor old Daniel couldn't launch, couldn't lurch. That noble frog was planted as solid as a church. That celebrated jumping frog in Calaveras County. Well, old Jim knew right away that he'd been bamboozled. Bamboozled. Don't you love it? <laughs> Paul, bamboozled. Bamboozled, I just read in the Globe yesterday, is in the, in, in the dictionary. In the, been putting it, just, you know, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Old Jim knew right away that he'd been bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Poor old Daniel couldn't launch, couldn't lurch. That noble frog was planted solid as a church, that celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. The fresh frog, though, had launched himself like a rocket flew through the air, spinning slowly around. Poor old Daniel couldn't launch, couldn't lurch. That noble frog was planted solid as a church. That celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. So the stranger took his winnings and bid old Jim good day. Jim just stood in the road, scratched his head as a stranger walked away. Uh, he, you know, Jim knew had been smoked, but he couldn't figure out just how it worked until he picked up old Daniel and cried, he weighs 30 pounds. Daniel Webster belched a pint of quail shot on the ground. Uh, and suddenly lighter, celebrated jumping frog in Calaveras County. Yeah. And now our store must come to an end. best laid plans of frogs and men. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get burned. Just don't let down your guard work, jumping frogs are concerned. Like the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. In the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County by Mark Twain. Yeah. Do people know that, that story? Yeah. I imagine you all do. Yeah. Maybe not. But not everybody does, you know. I mean, you know. Jeff, Jeff, Five more? Or maybe, <laughs> or maybe one or two, but somebody wanted uh, one kind of word. If you could sure. That in. Yeah, sure. Sure. I second that. I second that. Well, that's really nice of them to ask it. Tell them thank you. Yeah, that's Can I brag a little bit? I entered this song in the International Acoustic Music Awards and won runner-up in Best Male Artist. This just happened two, th two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, huh? Did I get any money? No. <laughs> You've had that song for a while, though, haven't you? 
I wrote it a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Did I get asked to go on a promotional tour in Europe? No. <laughs> That's okay. That was a thrill. I don't know really what it means, but I think it's, it just made me feel good. So, um, right, this is... See, the problem with, like, you know, playing harmonica and having a beard is that, you know, mustache hairs get pulled out, and that is painful. So, so this, uh, this is an old song of mine, and it, it's, uh, it's one I love. So, thank you very much for requesting it. Never says a word, but he strums his old Gibson, sings like a bird, the dreams in his head, hell are almost gone, the times keep changing as the years wear on, and it don't take much to wag my tail, give me hard boiled eggs. A little beer in a pail He got to work pretty hard To drive me away But one kind word And I will stay So I ride in my car Travel all around Get up on the stage here in your town I used to chase all the women But I've changed my ways When they act friendly It makes my day And it don't take much To wag my tail You give me hard-boiled eggs A little beer in a pail You gotta work pretty hard Fly me away But one kind word And I will stay ask me how I live that way well I don't call it living I call it just getting by if I had the ambition I'd be a heck of a guy and I'm about half crazy at the ends of my chain nobody knows how I stand I might turn mean I'm at my best When the times get lean And it don't take much To wag my tail Give me hard-boiled eggs A little beer in a pail You got to work pretty hard To drive me away one kind word And I will stay One kind word And I will stay <laughs> Yeah So Yeah There's a couple more here that I, I don't have, you know, memorized. It's just been so long since I've done a show. So I really appreciate you, like, putting up with all this. 
but maybe I'll dig one dig one out here and maybe maybe one more kind of thing yeah all right I'll pick a long one <laughs> well does anybody remember the the, the Bob the Bob Dylan song now this is from Highway 61 Revisited, I think, and that's 1965. It's the one called Ballad of a Thin Man. People remember that? Yeah. You know, um, he's, he's talking to, you know, the average American and, and saying, uh, something's going on here, but you don't know what it is, do you? Yeah, Mr. Jones, yeah. Do you, Mr. Jones? That's it, yeah. Right. Oh, there's so many here that I wanted to get at. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, that would be lovely. All right. So, what I did is I wrote this one that it's all new words to that. I, I, I don't know if I should sing this or not. It's very political. All right, I'll take my chances. All right, Bob Dylan's song was called Ballad of a Thin Man. And he, you know, this was a time when youth culture was becoming, you know, I'm reluctant to use the word dominant, but it was, you know, like youth culture does. It just, you know, and middle 60s, you know, it was a, well, you all remember. <laughs> This is going to get blacked out in Russia, though, in Moscow. Yeah. They're not going to play yeah. this. Uh, what? In Moscow. They're not going to play oh, this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's on well, the internet. Yeah. Well, the one, the one about, yeah, okay, well, they won't play this. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, I could play something a little more upbeat, a little bit more, like, happy. But, okay, all right. You think you'll enjoy this, maybe? This is yeah, a little bit... Far, yeah. It's got it's got some funny lines in it, but mostly it's okay. Okay, here, ballad of a thick man, and this is going out to our former president. Mm -hmm. You walk into the room, pushing kings out your way. They take one look and roll their eyes and slowly back away. Your pants are on fire again, sir. That's the 53rd time today. Even Fox News is running it live. And something is happening here, but you don't know what it is. Do you? 45. After stiffing every bank in the Western world, you borrow from the Russians. Your businesses all go belly up and you borrow from the Russians. Did you think you could control the implications and repercussions? Oh look, they're starting to eat you alive. And something is happening here, but you don't know what it is. This is a bridge. I like I like this bridge. This came out good. You have reached the end of your string. Let's all be quite out, Fox old Vladimir. You got to get up mighty early. But uh, you're a puppet, not a prophet. Pootie's the puppeteer And now that old chess master's got you by the short and curly You can't control yourself So you must control the rest Give it up, orange boy You're becoming a pest Somebody must have told you As unrevised history will soon attest you were the virus in the hive And something is happening here But you don't know what it is Do you, 45? Now 
because of the lives you could have saved, maybe even got your name engraved. Now a reckoning comes to each free man and slave in his season. Disease runs wild in the land, there's blood on your hands. And it's plain as the line in the sand that you're guilty of treason. Now about this comeback you're making, you tell us to fight like hell. How you gonna work the crowds from inside of a prison cell? It's just laying right there, you know, come on. You know, oh, it's so good. <laughs> You'll look great in stripes, sir. Just don't ever kiss and tell. You'll be back in school the moment you arrive. Now that line has been kind of civilized. If the original line was, the hoses and tongs will be ready when you arrive. But I just backed. That's a little too rude. So, okay. You may be, <laughs> and, and something is happening here and you don't know. And something is happening here, but you don't know what it is to you, 45. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was fun to write, you know? I feel so relieved. I just feel... Yeah, I feel great. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much. We all live. Uh, She's going to take it out. I'm taking it out okay. right now. <laughs> thank you so much. And I want to thank my tech crew, uh, Brian Dozer, thank Chris LaVancher, Eddie thank D. You, Eddie. <laughs> and uh, thank the Wakefield Arts Council and the Ivy Cord Coffee House for helping with partial support. And, uh, definitely thank you all for watching. Uh, next month, we will bring back another notable New Englander, Judd Caswell, on April 9th. Judd Caswell, you got coming. Judd oh, Caswell coming. Yeah, we oh, have a yeah. lot of good so So uh, stay tuned. And thank you all, and have a good night. Is he still living in Maine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.